Hello everyone, welcome to Chemizon Complete Chemistry. So in today's video, we are going to solve question 33, which is based on number of signals, counting the number of signals of 13 for 13 CNMR spectrum. Okay, this is again from the GATE 2022 chemistry paper, and this is a compound. So this is a question: the number of peaks exhibited by T. T is what T is the name that is given to this compound. In its broadband proton decoupled 13 cnmr it's very important to note which for what we are finding out the signals whether it is for 13 cnmr or for 1 hnmr because we normally have the habit to count 1 hnmr signals so it's very important you have to count the carbon the signals for 13 cnmr okay recorded at 25 degrees celsius in cdcl3 so how do you exactly count the number of signals so the groups that reflect okay, the groups that reflect after placing the mirror plane after adding or drawing the plane of symmetry those groups which reflect each other across the mirror plane they are in the same chemical environment those groups are present in the same chemical environment and they will give a same signal okay, they give same signal for example suppose i take the example of this dimethyl ether now suppose i draw a plane across the oxygen atom in middle like this is this a plane of symmetry what is a plane of symmetry one half across the plane on the left should be same as that of the other half that is they should be mirror images of each other so is this a plane of symmetry yes it is a plane of symmetry here also there is methyl here also there is methyl and this oxygen atom is getting cut into half so here both this carbon will give same signal so there will be one signal now suppose if i repeat the same exercise for another compound let's say ethyl methyl ether now CH2, CH3. Now, what is which is the central part of the molecule? This bond. So, is this a plane of symmetry? This methyl is reflected by this methyl, correct. But here there is oxygen and here there is carbon. So, now overall, all these carbons are in different chemical environments. So, what will happen? All these three carbons will give different signals A, B, and C. Okay, so there will be three signals for 13 c nmr okay, similarly now we have to find out for this compound so what i have done is i have done a small rotation i have rotated this molecule slightly so that we can visualize better in a better manner so in this molecule can you see any plane of symmetry suppose i draw this plane is this a plane of symmetry no right because here you can see there is this double bond and here above there is nothing okay so this line is not a plane of symmetry so let us see now is this a plane of symmetry yes this is a plane of symmetry so now across this plane of symmetry we have to count the number of 13 cnmr signals okay so let us start from this carbon this carbon is let's say a this is reflected by this carbon so a or let's say we will number it this will be one okay then you can see this carbon and this carbon so this is two now we move further this carbon is reflected by this carbon so this will be three third signal and in the same line you can see here there is one more carbon let's say this is number four then this carbon and this carbon are also reflecting this will be five in this row again this is reflecting with this carbon so six then there is this carbon seven and there is this two methyl groups which are reflecting each other this will be eight okay so total there are how many signals eight so this is a NAT type of question, numerical answer type. So you have to insert one number or a digit. So the if you see the key, it is given 8 to 8. So what you have to enter in the box is 8. 
okay there will be a numeric pad given to you one two three all the numbers are there okay decimal is also given to us and one backspace button is also there okay so what you have to enter is eight okay, you have to just type eight okay so what is the correct answer for this there are total how many signals eight signals correct answer for this question is eight I hope you have understood how to count the number of signals for 13 C NMR spectrum. Same is the process for counting the 1H NMR signals for 1H NMR spectrum. Thank you.